Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Recently, I was asked how to machine a sign and have it the same on both sides. How do you flip the sign and machine the second side and get it in perfect registration? Well today, I'm going to show you how I did this. I've started by securing a sacrificial spore board to my tabletop. I then secured my stock to the sacrificial spoil board. The reason for this is at a later stage I will be drilling a couple of registration holes in the stock right through to my spoil board. I don't want to damage the actual spoil board on my machine so I put the sacrificial one in in the meantime. I've started by zeroing my cutter in the normal way. In this particular instance to the bottom left hand edge of my stock. So here's the first side of the sign complete. I had to remove a screw part way through the cut because the cutter looked like it was going to get a bit too friendly with it. So next I need some method by which I can flip this sign and keep it perfectly registered with the other side. So the easiest way of doing that is to drill two holes, one about here-ish and one about here. The critical thing is that they are in perfect alignment with the center of the sign. The sign is symmetrical, so I want to flip it over and recut exactly the same thing on the other side. So to do this, I'm going to drill two holes, one here, one here, and then I'm going to put some pins in them when I flip it. So in my CAD software, I just simply drew two holes down the center of the sign. Okay, so I can now release the sign from my board, like so. and it's ready for turning over. Because I've used this board before, there's actually already a series of holes in it, so I have to be careful to get the right holes in this one here. But there they are there. I've now flipped it over and I've got it lined up with the holes that I drilled before, which is these ones here. Went right through the spoil board and onto there. I can now get my drill and just quickly attach the board back down where it was. Remove the pins, and the board is now properly aligned. Now just to demonstrate why you can't use this corner to set up the cutter again, you'll see that this is where I was, when I originally set it up, I was sitting right on the corner. Now that I've flipped the board, I'm quite a distance away from the corner there. I've hit the uh, go to origin point or uh, go to zero on my machine and this is taking me to x y z zero uh, as it was when the board was flipped so you can see here why it's important to have a registration mark
So, here's my completed sign. As you can see down the edge here, when I machine the sign, I use the same file. Each so each uh, file, each um, cut, machine the profile of the sign six and a half millimeters in on each side. So the first side, cut the sign and cut down on the profile six and a half millimeters. When I reversed it, it did exactly the same. And here's the result. The two cuts met each other in the middle there and the piece came free. You can also see the alignment was correct because the width here is exactly the same as the width here. The sign looks correct. So the alignment of this here was worked out to be spot on. So the, the real trick when machining something double-sided is finding the center point of the item and putting in a couple of alignment points. So on this one here, as you saw, I found the center point of this part, piece here and put an alignment point here and here, and then I simply flipped it on the pins to here, like so. If I'd been machining it this way on the table, then I would have found alignment points here and here and flipped it this way. If this was in a regular shape and I needed to flip it like this, as you can see, when it flips, this piece here changes side. For something like this here, I'd find the center point here, which would be a little bit over this way here, put a hole here and a hole here and flip it this way. In my drawing, I would mirror one side to the other so that I would have a second file, which would be a mirror of the first. And that would then allow me this uh, piece here to change sides when I cut it. Likewise, I might have a uh, different text on the center when I flipped it, it might say side one, side two. So you can do all those sorts of things. The trick is basically you must spin it about a central point. If you're lucky like this here and the, one of the sides is symmetrical, obviously you're going to flip it like that and that's going to make your life a lot easier. Well, I hope that's been useful to you guys and uh, maybe a few of you will get into doing double-sided items now. Um, in the meantime, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my uh, sign, sign and um, I will catch up with you guys next time. Okay, well have a good one. Cheers. Bye.